Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, and I'm real glad that you could join us for another segment. You know, nearly 300 people die in the United States every single day from an infection that they acquired during their hospital stay. Quite shocking. Well, our guest this morning is Mr. Morris Miller. He's CEO of Zenex Disinfection Services. He's joining us on the program to talk about hospital acquired infections or HAIs and the Zenex Light Strike germ zapping robot. It's uh, proven to kill superbugs like MRSA and C. diff on high touch surfaces, especially in hospitals. Welcome to the program, Mr. Morris Miller. Thank you for taking the time this morning. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for having me. Well, I, I did mention, of course, that you are the CEO of Zenex Disinfection Services. Give us a brief background uh, about yourself, and let's talk about uh, Zenex Disinfection Services. So by background, I'm an uh, uh, entrepreneur, uh, an investor um, involved in a, a number of companies from uh, originally legal publishing and then a uh, one of the world's biggest hosting companies called Rackspace. And uh, I met the founders of this company and uh, – recognize this is a huge problem. You mentioned 300 uh, people a day dying from these infections. So just in the United States, that's about 100,000 a year and 2 million Americans get these infections. And when I met the founders, they had a way that they thought could stop them. Now, your company, Zenex Disinfection Services, uh, you mentioned the founders, are they tech people like yourself? They, they're um, both uh, graduates from uh, Johns Hopkins. And uh, basically, they're both epidemiologists, and uh, it was out of their imagination that they thought you could take this robot that they eventually invented to stop these, uh, basically, these incessant infections that happen in the hospitals every day. When we're talking about a robot, are we talking about something like you, you've seen the uh, the vacuum cleaners in the home that kind of bounce around the room and, and, and do that sort of thing? What exactly are we talking about as far as robotics and killing germs? So uh, I think if, if anybody's ever uh, and I saw one yesterday, I was walking in the airport and there was a guy pushing this like automatic floor sweeper and it comes up about waist high and they kind of push them in front of it. So our, our machine is about that height. And it, everybody that looks at it says it looks like an R2-D2 robot because the top is very rounded. Um, and basically, the housekeeper pushes the robot into the room, and then a light comes out of the center of the robot, and it puts out high-intensity, broad-spectrum ultraviolet light, like ultra-high intensity because it has a yeah. pulsed xenon bulb in the middle. So that's kind of what it looks like. We do have the ability to have the robots automatically walk around. So it would be like a huge version of a Roomba, right? That's the uh, uh, vacuum that you would mm-hmm. see. So we can have it, but in most hospitals, they don't want it to move around. They want to move it themselves. Are we talking about replacing the, the, the cleaning staff in the hospital as far as high-touch surfaces, high-touch meaning floors especially? So the, uh, so great question. So first of all, no, this does not replace housekeepers. Um, housekeepers, uh, they, they have to clean the rooms, not, not dissimilar from a hotel room. Even if you could bring something into your hotel room to clean it up, you'd still need somebody to take out the trash, somebody to clean the countertops and the, uh, nightstands and everything else. So it requires a housekeeper to make the room, uh, look good. And I think the distinction that we make is that the housekeepers are great at cleaning, the Zenex Light Strike robot is great at disinfecting. And that's the difference. And the reason is the housekeepers are only given 20 to 30 minutes to turn over a hospital room. Not much different than a housekeeper in a hotel, but the difference in a hospital room is that there's pathogens, these, these killer superbugs, and the dwell time on most of the chemistry that they've traditionally used, you know, these are bleaches and uh, hydrogen peroxide and other things like that, uh, the dwell time on those is three minutes on a given surface, typically, in order to dis- disinfect. They don't have enough time to let all of the surfaces uh, uh, get disinfected. By okay. cleaning them, they can absolutely make the room look spectacular. And then Zenex, because it's a broad spectrum light, the light doesn't miss. And the high touch surfaces, you mentioned the floor. That's an area that's really easy to clean because you can really leave it pretty soaked for a significant period of time. The hard Mm -hmm. things to get really clean are like bed rails, remote controls, nurses' call buttons, mattresses, and that's where the robot does its magic. All of those high-touch surfaces that you may touch and then accidentally touch your eye or your nose or your mouth, 
that's where we're going to kill most of the pathogens, and then you're not going to get an infection. I've got my mind wrapped around this this robot in the room and this this uh, high intensity UV light going everywhere in in this room. How does this UV light actually kill the the, the bacteria? How does that work? So uh, you know, if if uh, uh, it, it just turns out that um, uh, people in the old days they used to put uh, laundry outside to let the sun kind of disinfect it and do the final uh, drying things. Broad spectrum ultraviolet light is germicidal, and uh, most people don't realize it. Many people uh, on a very hot summer day when the sun is really intense will put on sunscreen to block UV light from causing a sunburn, and basically that's just you know the sun hitting their skin and damaging the DNA of their skin cells. Um, the pathogens have no difference when it comes to being a cellular organism, and the high-intensity broad-spectrum light basically will, will burst the, the cell of that pathogen so it can't replicate. And then the next question I always get asked is, well, then do people have to be scared to enter the room? And the answer is no, because the robot only runs when people aren't in the room. And that's part of the reason why it's a robot, because it's sensing heat and it's sensing motion. And so we've done 21 million cycles with no uh, 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 exposures. So let's talk about how much the system like this is going to cost the facility, and um, what about ROI? So the uh, typically the, the the hospitals like to boil it down as what does it cost per room? What does it cost per room? Um, and and that ends up being somewhere between six and eight dollars per room, and it's completely dependent on the number of rooms that they do. The more rooms they do, the less it costs. If they did sixty rooms a day, it might get down as low as three dollars or something like that per room, and we're constantly working with our customers. So we don't just sell a robot. It's a complete service to help them optimize, maximize the number of times that they can use it. And then ROI, typically a hospital will pay for the robot in about two months. So we literally look at it and we keep on explaining to healthcare facilities, this is a six or a seven times return on their investment. We can explain why, because a, you know, one single surgical site infection can cost a hospital $100,000. Well, if a robot, let's just say it's approximately 125000 one surgical site infection prevented that they've paid for the use of the robot and every other infection that they prevent, it just drops to the bottom line. And there really isn't an infection that we've seen, whether it's a Candida auris or Clostridium difficile, MRSA, vancomycin resistant enterococci, all of them we help to eliminate for those hospitals when the hospitals use it. At least that's what the hospitals report back to us because they're the ones who are giving us their numbers. Uh, it, it's a huge return on investment. Aren't hospitals sharing this information with each other? Why aren't we seeing this everywhere when we're walking into hospitals? Neil, some of them share, uh, and, and they share on certain infection types. So certainly surgical site infections, hips, knees, that kind of thing are shared. That's a hospital compare. It's a, a government website. It's always a year behind in terms of data, but they're forced to put it up there. Um, they don't, the, the healthcare facilities, other than the ones like uh, uh, that use this all the time and whose infection rates are so low, then it becomes an, a, a sort of a bragging point to compete against the other hospitals. But if they haven't done it, they don't really want to talk about the infections because they don't, they don't want to scare the patients. Um, and we're trying to get them to a point where we can say, look, like we've even done uh, uh, instances where a hospital said, I don't have enough money to buy the robots. And we'll say, fine, we'll put in the robots free of charge and only send you a bill after the infection rates significantly drop. And they kind of look at us like, really? And we say, absolutely. And then we put them in 90 days later, their infection rates. The first time we did it, 90 days after we put the robots in. 48% drop in infection rate reported by that hospital. That's fascinating, extremely promising for, well, us as, as consumers, when we go to the hospital, I mean, we don't want to go to the hospital to get sick. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Where, where can our listeners get some more information about this uh, technology online? Uh, to look for uh, more information, uh, Zenex.com, X-E-N-E-X.com, X-E-N-E-X.com. And uh, they can look on your website. It'll pro you'll probably have a link to it or uh, just come on over to us and give us a uh, shout. 
great information. Thanks for taking the time this morning. And um, keep us updated as uh, as things progress there at Zenex with the uh, the Zenex Light Strike germ zapping robot. Okay. Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio in conversation with Mr. Morris Miller, CEO of Xenex Disinfection Services, talking about uh, hospital acquired infections and the Xenex Light Strike germ zapping robot. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, healthprofessionalradio.